Let's go over how to find the velocity when you have a position graph. So here we've got this position graph, and we can tell this is something that's moving away because we're going from down low to up high. We can also tell that this is something that's slowing down because down here it's steep, up here it's not as steep. But just how fast is it actually going? And that's something that we can actually calculate numerically, and we're going to do that right now. And the way we do that is by finding the slope. We see the slope is changing here. This is a curve. We know how to find the slope of a line. It's a rise over run kind of thing. But when it's a curve, we can't just find the slope of the whole curve. I mean, we could just connect the starting point with the ending point and make a line. But that's, that's the slope of the overall thing. It's not this changing slope. So let's say we want to find the slope here at, at the four and a half second mark right here. So I'm going to go up from four and a half seconds, and I'm going to try to find the slope right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to draw a tangent line right at that point. And one suggestion I have with the tangent line, first of all, you don't have, it doesn't have to be a ruler with numbers. It can be any straight object, straight edge. One suggestion I have is you take your pencil and you put it on the point that you want to find the velocity for. You hold the pencil right there because it's a good thing to like put your ruler up against. So I'm going to put my ruler up against it. And I'm going to rotate the ruler around until the ruler looks like a nice tangent. So it looks like it really represents the slope of this curve right here. And I'm going to say, that's it. I'm going to hold the ruler in place. I'm going to draw my tangent line. And notice, I'm going to draw the tangent line long. I'm not going to draw just a tiny little line here because it's much easier to accurately find the slope of a nice long line than it is of a short line. So now I've got a line and I can find the slope of this. So now I, here's my tangent line here at the that four and a half second, good, it's at the four and a half second mark. And I'm gonna find the slope by looking at this point and this point. And recall that slope is rise over run. So let's look at this. What's the, what's the run? Like how far do we go horizontally from here to here. I'm going to mark this down. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Here's my run. How long is it? Well, we go from we go from the zero mark from time is zero to time is 7.5. So I'm going to say that our run is 7.5 seconds. And what's the rise? Well, up here so that's so right. It's, notice that above seven is not eight, right? Because this is six, six and a half, seven. So that's let's call it seven and a half. It's pretty close. So um, so we're gonna say this is seven point five up here, and down here is two point five, and the difference is the difference between seven point five and two point five. Um, in this case can do it in the head pretty easily. That, that, that difference is five. But if you have to use a calculator, or if you have to interpolate, right? If you're in between two things, or if you're in between like the three and the three and a half, you might be, oh, that's 3.2 or 3.3. But I'm gonna look at this and go, that's 7.5, 2.5, and I'm gonna go, that rise is five. And so the slope, so the slope is the rise over the run. which in my case, the rise is five meters. The run is 7.5 seconds. I'm gonna grab a calculator. Actually, I'm gonna grab my phone because it happens to be handy. Um, and I'm gonna go, mm, what did I say? Five divided by 7.5. And so my slope is 0.66, otherwise known as two thirds. Um, so I'm gonna say that it's 0 0.66 repeating. And the units are gonna be the, the, the units we have here. The, the rise is in meters, the run is in seconds, so these units are gonna be meters per second. That's how you find the slope. And you can do that at any one of the points along this line.